How's it going guys? Welcome to the next episode of our beginner guide. This is sort of a bonus extra episode that I wanted to do because the last one kind of messed up and I'm so sorry about that. The music was in some, for some reason, you know, just way too loud. I was sure I turned it down when I rendered it and then I uploaded it and all of the comments exploded because I forgot to turn down the freaking music. And I'm sorry about that. Even more sad is that I cannot simply fix the video because the, I only have the final file. I don't have all of the like source files that they use for the rendering. But I hope you guys can hear what I said nevertheless. I tried to sit down and watch the video and still you kind of can hear my points. If the music annoys you, then I'm sorry about it. I won't make the same mistake again, okay? <laughs> but here it is trying to keep, like pick back up to the beginner guide series because I'm not very good at uploading to it right now simply because of the fact that it's super hard to keep on grinding here on this account while I also have to grind on my main account and do videos there. Because the game gets grindy at one point and we've hit that point, I kind of addressed it in some of the previous videos. But yeah, this is where we're at right now. Level 20 engineers, level 8 nomads, almost level 9. Close to Dawn's children, which we talked about in the last video, how we wanted to prepare for our first epic with the Quantum Cabin and the Icarus and craft some of the blue Dawn's children stuff. So we got all of that stuff settled in pretty nicely. But I also said in the video that I sort of wanted to look at our shotgun wedge because it was not a very good wedge and it was kind of like weak but due to the latest patch where we now in the engineers get a lot more parts at earlier levels as you can see 68 rather than what 55 or 54 before i think it was so at level 22 we can actually do 74 parts so we can do some way different builds now and i wanted to take this opportunity to make a 4k power score shotgun wedge which i've now done here and this one is actually oh my god what a voice crack <laughs> it's early in the morning boys i literally even haven't even had my breakfast yet i just wanted to get to recording because as you know i'm away in the weekends with work and stuff right now so it's what it is but here we are a 4k power score shotgun wedge that in my opinion should be able to do pretty good i didn't want to go to 5k since we only have the lupara still we don't want to invest any money into blue shotguns just yet we want to just stay on the grind stay with this vehicle so that's what we're doing for now. But as you can see, yeah, basic vehicle, three shotguns, the growl cabin that we crafted. Then underneath, we have our fuel barrels. Let's actually break it down here a bit for you guys so you can see what I've done. In the rear, this one could be better protected, but I wanted to make the ass wider. But then again, I didn't end up doing that because I didn't want to bring in the MP2 and, you know, have extra modules down below because that would simply bump up our power score too much. So this was the best solution in order to also keep the weight somewhat respectable until we get the hardcore engine so that we can add additional weight. So for now, this is what we have. But the uh, the chill module here hidden behind the terrain over here, uh, hidden underneath a terrible bar and a bumper catch. There we go. Then we have the R2 chill module there sitting. Then just a stack of armor here to somewhat protect the cloak. We really need that added some round break lots because everyone has those by now since the latest patch. So you should be able to get some and recreate this if you want to. But then we have the fenders here. Boom. And then these fenders which are... There we go, mounted to the chameleon in there, remove those. And then we have the chameleon sitting up on the growl cabin and the rear frame. Pretty easy. Then we have our three guns here. One, two, three. These medium struts protecting on either side and connected to those. We have these crutches. Bam. Then we have these frames, fr frames, <laughs> frames right here. These are mounted right there next to the cabin. This one as well. Bam, and this one mounted rear on the cabin. Then we have this radiator grill here to protect the gun somewhat. As you can see, if we can just bring those back. Um, we sort of get some rear protection. So if we get shot in the rear, these will absorb the shot rather than our Lupa rush absorbing the shot. But if we do go ahead and remove this again, just to break it down. Bam, away with those, away with those, away with those. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There we go. Uh, remove the small boggy floors. Actually, no one, let's not do that just yet. But then we have this avia strut away with that and away with that and then a set of double fenders here again to add some armor to the cabin remove those and as you can see we're getting kind of down to the bone now then we have an off-road bumper which is mounted high there we go on a radiator grill to protect these let's remove that to protect the small buggy flow and we one of those small buggy flows to be protected because our guns are mounted to it so it's always it's nice to have some protection and besides that these off-road bumpers has a lot of hp so they protect our guns really well if we should get shot on the side so that's very very good but stripping away these 
we have just the radiator grills, the van ramp, and then the oblique slope wide connected to the frame. Same thing over here, let's remove those. These tiny oblique slope narrows sitting in here just to give some extra protection to the frames if we should go ahead and lose this wheel. Besides that, we have a small plow here and that small plow is actually mounted onto this small buggy floor so that we can turn it this way. You know, the regular direction is like this, but that wouldn't really give us a proper wedge. So it's sitting like that to give us a wedge. So go ahead and remove that small buggy floor and then we need the twin blade ring to actually fill this area out. But for now we just have three, it's better than two. So I added all of them. <laughs> but you can remove those, they're just sitting there on the frame. And then finally four hatchets here which sort of initiates the wedge when we hit people and then some frame setups here let's remove the growl cabin just some fuel underneath because we need to grind that a 4x4 a 4x2 light frame a 2x6 2x6 2x4 2x4 and a 4x4 and the wheel setup like this these mounted there but move back once these can only be mounted in one position right there and then these the same thing can only be mounted in one position so it's a pretty straightforward setup. Shouldn't be that hard to replicate if you guys want to do that. But now that we've covered that, let's go ahead, reload the build. If you guys want to construct it, do go ahead and do so. But for now, we're just going to try out the build in a few games and see how it actually does. We've got ourselves a game on Nameless Tower. Here we go. Should we go for the cap or should we just uh, rush the enemy and fight them? I can't really decide. Let's for now, do let's just go for the cap, see what happens. We might have a bot or two coming in. Ooh, the guy left. That's good for us. <laughs> it's literally just all about winning so that we can get a lot of scrap. Because the scrap change really makes it super important to grind all of the scrap that we now can, you know. You wanna you wanna just do as many daily missions as possible, which is also why we do these different builds, because the daily missions are super important. Not only for the weekly challenges and you know for trades and stuff. Holy crap. Well hello there. Let's just uh, redo that, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, as I was trying to say, you want that weekly scrap. <laughs> because we need to craft all of the white parts now, and that is something that some people hate, some people like. Personally, I feel like it removes some of the RNG with parts. Yes, it does take away some of the profit we were able to make on the market, but it's not a big issue. At least not as big one as some people just tend to make it, so... Ooh, nice little wedge there. That's what we want. Let's get that. Nope, okay, he just, uh... Smart but is smart, he just jumped down. Alright. Um, so... Ooh, equalizes. Nice sound, I really like the sound of the new equalizers, it's so good. And I get distracted so much, I should stop doing that. Well, hello there. Let's see. Oh my goodness, get tossed around, bro. There we go. Nice. Yep. Let's keep him on a wedge. Yeah, and he's degun. Three wide powers to degun. I'm 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 kinda happy about that. Honestly, I'm now we just gotta get away from that junk boat, bro. Uh our team is absolutely getting destroyed right now, so it's honestly not looking good for us. But we degunned 900 coins of guns with just three the powers i'm honestly kind of stoked about that no one is getting into cab at the moment it seems so let's go ahead and be that guy who does oh wow see this is why you want the wedges ouch no 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 we want to dig on the dude too there we go and we just need the last one. Oh no 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 that's a boss saw dude that's not cool too it's not really cool too Oh shit. Um, guys, this is hectic. Oh, popped him. Beautiful. I think we should just turn this around quite nicely. I have no clue how we aren't going to end up winning this, but I think we actually are. And a little frame build, and there we go. Beautiful. Even though he did blow up on me, so we lost our fuel. <laughs> and yet another game here on Sandy. Golf this time. I totally forgot the name. I always do that. I'm so bad at these map names. <laughs> but the reason, if you're wanting right, we're running the Leparos and not just buying sledgehammers is, like I said, we simply do not want to waste any money at all whatsoever until it 
really, really, really becomes necessary. I know I kind of extend there, but I just wanted to see. It looked like they had a hover, which is honestly quite incredible at this power score. So I just wanted to make sure. Doesn't look like it though. Ooh, nice. Ryan getting that kill. Beautiful. We just lost one too. I want to get that tow guy up here. Like most of these tow guys are just fully distracted most of the time. Well, hello there. Get wedged. Nice. I'll take that. Did he remove anything? He did take a wheel, which is not optimal, but I think we can still do this. We did shred that guy fully, so I'm happy about that. Um, what else do we have over here? We have a pile launcher, which is not degun. That was honestly surprisingly easy. Get wedged. <laughs> this is why wedges are so freaking strong. Look at that. We just flipping people left and right. I wonder if he has anything explosive in there. Does he have a chill module? I actually think he does. Wow. Uh, get him down. My god, this is actually a good build. Better than I expected it to be. Oh my goodness. The demos on me are real, but we got three people, so. Kind of happy about that. And lastly, you know, speaking about the market, I know there's a lot of market activities that activity that we haven't really done and there's been some serious cash to to earn lately look at that look at that chat down there left bottom corner <laughs> um there's a lot of market activity that we haven't really done lately that we could have done to make some serious cash there's also the football event right going right now the main reason that i don't want to do it is because if you watch this video on a later time and these sort of market exploits so to say are no longer available then you maybe feel like you've missed out on something those guns down. Yeah, just stop, 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 stop. There we go. Go on into the. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh my, sorry about that, homie. There we go. Lovely. Oh, scary cannon, dude. Scary, scary cannon, dude. It's one gun off. Oh, no, 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 no. Homie, homie, homie. Chill. Alright, chill. And he is now officially gone, so we can just hunt him down. Just tap by those guns. Come on. Awesome. Another kill for us. They have four people left. We have three people left. This should be doable. We haven't really taken that much damage. And all of them are sitting over here. Alright. Just cloak up here. I want to get that D-gun in. And you really just have to get in my rear, okay? Nice. Oh, snap. Do you want him dead quickly? How is there? We go. <laughs> that cabin was not gonna die. All right, so two people left. We're gonna run into one of them over here, I think. He just got shut down. I think Ethan might be in the base, so let's just hunt this guy down while we go to their base. I'm sorry, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Hello there, sir. Someone has a radar, which is super dope. Then we have the radio too. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not gonna do that. There we go. All right. Uh, and as you see, the guy tapping down there saying that they don't block damage. The way that they work and the way that reason that I use them as I do, uh, guys, is that if an MG shoots them, they will shoot straight through them, so to say. But they will still, you know, hold up for longer. So they will act as a mount where my bar there will you know absorb damage for way longer and if they do block a cannon shot they can block a cannon shot way more effectively than a regular gun cane a regular item cane so that's the reason for using them and that's the reason for why you guys should also be using them okay uh you shouldn't like uh, listen to a guy saying they don't block damage because that's not why you use them when you have them right here it's because if i just had a conventional part say this part mounted right there uh, I would get shot with a cannon and that thing would fall off immediately but because this takes a 90% reduced damage This one can absorb a few cannons before it even falls off So the offer bomber has a lot more time to work and the same thing goes for these They act as sort of spacing because you saw we face cannons if the cannon shoots The damage is just gonna blow up here But if I just had this part sitting right there, then the part will just fall off like that But we would have this to absorb additional like explosive damage Right guys, so that's why we do it and 
if you're watching this video, Mr. I push blind kids, <laughs> which is kind of cruel. Okay, homie, <laughs> then that's why. And you should do it too, because it's the best way of utilizing spacing to keep your guns alive for longer. All right. Well, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to recreate it, just go ahead in time, watch the breakdown of the build again, maybe slow it down so you have some time to recreate it. And until next time, have an awesome day, guys. Bye.